usual settings, ECG decoding is shown from 12 different vantage points using the chest and the limb leads. It is important because even though the exact same electrical activity is mapped, just because ECG is recorded from different vantage point, a different wave front is observed. This really helps in localization of the cardiac condition, which means we can come to know just looking at the same ECG from different vantage points that which part of the heart is involved. In NEAT PG exam, many questions has been asked around this, which means you have been asked to identify whether a myocardial infarct is anterior, posterior, inferior, which part of the heart is having the infarct. The first we will see is the chest leads. The leads V1 to V6 are also called the precordial leads or the chest leads. In the cross section, it is very easy to understand that lead V1 and V2 records the electrical activity of the septal part of the heart. So V1 and V2 records the electrical activity of the septal part of the heart. Leads V3 and V4 records the electrical activity of the anterior part of the heart and leads V5 and V6 records the electrical activity of the lateral part of the heart. So V1, V2 records septal part, V3, V4 records anterior part and V5, V6 records the lateral part of the heart. If you see, none of the chest leads actually record the posterior aspect of the heart. So if there is any myocardial infarct in the posterior part, we would not be able to exactly diagnose it using the chest leads V1 to V6. In such cases, where we suspect a pathology in, in the posterior part, such as posterior infarct, we can also get a V7, V8, V9 done. This recording will specifically give the details of pathology in the posterior part. Now let's move on to the limb recordings. Again, there are six different vantage points when it comes to lip recordings. If you remember this diagram, it will be very easy to remember. VR records the electrical activity from, on, from the right side. VL records the electrical activity from the left side. Whereas VF records the electrical activity from the inferior side of the heart. So any pathology, inferior infarct will show in VF. Also, if you see, lid 1 records the electrical activity from the lateral aspect of the heart. V2 and 3 records the electrical activity from the inferior part of the heart. Once again, VR from the right side, VL from the left side, VF, which means foot, is from the inferior side. Lead 1 is from again from the lateral aspect, lead 2 and 3 is from the inferior aspect. So this is the most important which you have to remember. Changes in infer changes because of pathology in the inferior part of the heart will be reflected on lead 2, 3 and VF. So these three leads will depict changes from the inferior part of the heart. Septal part V1, V2. Anterior part V3, V4. Lateral part V5, V6 and AVL. This and posterior part will be V7, V8, V9. So these, this you know arrangement and the vantage point that which leads will capture which part of the electrical activity of the heart is very very important in localization of the disease pathology in cardiac conditions.